Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your morning market update for Monday, January 31st. Stocks on Wall Street are getting an early boost from a strong earnings report by ExxonMobil. That's outweighing continued concerns about the situation in Egypt, which pushed global markets sharply lower last week. Stocks across Europe seem to be rebounding as well, but the major Asian indexes fell again, amid fears that higher oil prices will put pressure on those economies. Right now, crude is rising back near $90 a barrel. Analysts are concerned that protests in Egypt may disrupt or shut down shipments in the Suez Canal, and that the political unrest could spread to other Middle Eastern countries. Investors are cheering earnings from the world's biggest oil producer this morning. ExxonMobil posted a 58% jump in fourth quarter net income, topping Wall Street estimates. Exxon earned nine and a quarter billion dollars during the last three months, its best performance in more than two years. For the full year, profit rose 57% amid higher crude oil and natural gas prices and improved refining margins. Shares of Exxon are rising more than 1% on the news. We also have a big M&A deal in the energy sector to tell you about. Alpha Natural Resources is buying Massey Energy for about $7.1 billion in cash and stock, creating a new giant in the coal industry. The deal may help Massey get past legal problems stemming from safety violations, such as the explosion at a mine in West Virginia last year that killed 29 people. Shares of Massey are jumping more than 10% on the news, despite a stock downgrade from Breen Murray. UBS also weighed in on the deal, saying it's positive for the coal industry overall. Right now, Alpha Natural Resources is dropping 7%. Investors are also digesting some economic news released this morning. Consumer spending rose seven-tenths of a percent in December, which was above expectations and the sixth straight monthly increase. It was also a sign that the economy entered 2011 with good momentum. Personal income rose four-tenths of a percent, in line with estimates. With spending outpacing income, the savings rate fell to 5.3 percent, the lowest level since March. Meanwhile, a key inflation gauge within the report remained relatively flat. Tomorrow we'll get a reading of manufacturing activity from the Institute for Supply Management, along with a report on construction spending. But the weekly calendar is highlighted by Friday's employment report for January. Economists expect that U.S. businesses added about 150,000 jobs and that the unemployment rate ticked up to a 9.5%. Let's finish up with a few stocks to keep an eye on today. Delta Airlines is gaining more than 2% after Bank of America upgraded it to buy, saying the company has no labor or merger risk. Home Depot is also rising in early trading. Goldman Sachs boosted its rating on that stock to buy and downgraded rival Lowe's to neutral. Meanwhile, drugstore chain CVS Caremark is falling nearly 3% following a stock downgrade from Bernstein. That's the latest from Moist Research. Have a great trading day.